Hey everyone, how are you all today? Do you all know what is the sustainability? Nowadays, many people are not aware what is the sustainability. So now I'm going to tell you what is the sustainability. Sustainability is to maintain the change of natural system function balance for the future generation. Some of the ways to sustain are to reduce the usage of electric and energy, plant more trees, and also reduce the food waste. Hi guys, it's me again. Welcome back. Green chemistry is the design of chemical products or processes that can reduce or eliminate the use and generation of the hazardous substances. So, do you all know what is the green chemistry? Let me tell you. Aims of green chemistry, which are to reduce the production cost, the waste produce, the energy by increasing the efficiency, the material use, and also the risk and hazard that may happen. These are the 12 principles of green chemistry, which are waste prevention, atom economy, surface synthesis, and many more. But now, we are actually focusing on the waste prevention. So, let's see how this principle is applied in the industry. Lijia will tell us what is the role of a chemical engineer in journey of sustainability. Lijia, can you tell us what is your opinion? Yes, as status in the first principle of green chemistry is better for us to prevent the waste than to treat or clean up them. As a chemical engineer, one of the common alternatives used in industry would be replacing the heavy metal catalyst with other types of catalysts. Wow, sounds fantastic. Can you give us some example? For example, in the oscillations of alcohols to carbonyl groups, heavy metal catalysts were inspired in the process. However, in this process, there will be a significant amount of hazardous waste being produced. Therefore, sodium hypochlorite was applied and soya steroid feedstock is utilized as the starting material. This reagent converts the minus alcohol to minus aldehyde, an intermediate in the synthesis of progesterone and corticosterone. Then, what benefit that you can get in this process? Um, this is an effective waste prevention step that is produced the same amount of the product as the previous loop with 89% less non stickable solvent waste and 79% less aqueous waste. Besides, toxic reagents such as organic peroxides could be avoided. Okay, thank you, Lija. What we need to do? As, as, as possible, being sustainable. sustainable.